Well, hello and welcome back to another vlog. It is Wednesday and I am at Sam's Club. I'm like, where is everybody? Oh, they don't open till 10. I have a plus membership so I could get in there, but it's 9.57, we'll just wait a few minutes and I'll sit here and talk to myself in my car. Well, I mean, I'm talking to the camera and then that lady's over there talking on the phone. So it's like, okay, everyone's catching up. I've got uh, some things at Sam's Club to get and then I need to go to Fairway to get the things I can't get at Sam's Club because you know, you can have every store in, in the world and you still gotta go to two, three, four to get everything you need. Um, and then, oh, I need gas in the car too. Yeah. Um, then uh, after lunch, I'm gonna go to pick up my latest online auction wins from the local auction houses. Now I'm really big into that. They have a lot more than they used to. My brother's really into it too. We get different stuff, but um, I, I won some princess house crystal things. This auction had a lot, a lot, a lot. And most of it went super, super cheap. Like I could have gotten all of it, but I was trying to be selective and definitely focus on smaller items that are easier to, not only easier to ship, but also easier to store. I mean, I have a whole basement, but it's stuff can take up room quick. So, um, I think I spent $80. Um, so I'm excited to get that cause it's all still in the box. It'll be easy to list. Um, and then I need to do some more book work. I'm working on the Amazon KDP 2024 edition. I'm about a quarter of the way through, so making good progress. I could get more done if two little doggies would let me go in my office and sit and type because it's easier, but Charlie doesn't like that. Charlie says, eh, come back. Um, and then get some more things listed to eBay today. So yeah, well, she got out of her car to go in, so maybe they're open now. So let's go into Sam's. Well, it's festive in here. I haven't gotten a real pumpkin in quite a while. Like I like them, but then you think, eh, it's just sitting outside, gonna rot. I'm not gonna carve it. You know, you know. Well, I guess, ooh, TVs are on sale. And did I bring my list? Please let me, I have so, I leave my list behind so much. I did. Back to the grocery. Oh my gosh, Christmas is out. Good grief. Oh, and look at the Halloween. That's, I haven't been inside in a while. Actually, now that I think about it, look at the inflatables. I would have gotten Papa that truck because he likes the light up stuff. But, oh. I'm triggered everywhere I go. I'm like, I'm fine. And then suddenly you see something, you get triggered. So got a sale on the bags that I came to get. A dollar off. Well, in this economy, we'll take it. <laughs> paper towels have gone up by like five, four or five bucks. Yeesh. Well, here's a look at my card. We got chicken, pop. I got these pears. They look kind of good. I need antacids. More laughing cow cheese, milk, carrots. The albacore tuna, need more neosporin, soap. I, what I did is I went through my list and then I went through and found if it's on a deal and I know that I'm kind of low, but it isn't on my, le my list yet, I'll get it. So like the soap, the neosporin, needed croutons. So I'm like, might as well get the giant bag. Cream cheese, the trash cans. I like to have the bread. I cut it up and keep it in the freezer. Same with the bagels and then some bananas then we're just kind of walking through this area seeing i wanted to see if there was any deals on any snacks because i do have my snack box out for the delivery people again i have it hidden they know where it is but it can't get seen from the street and stolen anymore you need this it's ridiculously delicious sea salt why does everything have salt on it Blech. how pretty are these Oh my gosh, love those. They're 35 bucks, but you get 76. Those are so pretty. The very retro look. Here's the kind of more of a darker. And then golds and greens, blues, but I love that one. That is gorgeous. You can even get the whole kit and just like do a little mini tree. Oh, how fun. Very retro. Got some giant inflatables. 
That tree is just, that's kind of sad. But this is the one I normally get, the seven and a half. I can't, or is it? Did I get a bigger one? I can't remember, I couldn't handle it, it was too big. This one, I can't remember now. I don't know, I don't know, I don't have a tree. Look at this thing. And just, I guess you just stick it in the snow. Okay. No inflatables that stand up straight because they blow on over. The blow on over. And then they have Halloween candy. But it's almost Christmas. Ah, that was a big shop at Sam's Club. And I went through where they check you out. I normally do scan and go, but I have so much cash in my wallet from the garage sales. Like, well, I'll just spend it there. Um, and then I got, of course I got to load it in the car and then I got to get home and unload it. So I'm like, just thinking about it, it makes me overwhelmed. But anyway, now I'm at Fairway where I only am looking for tuna helper and long grain rice, not minute rice. Those are the only two things I need here. I got my gas and then go home, get something to eat. And then I'll head out. This town I'm going to is about 20 ish minutes from where I live. So it's not terrible. Um, I don't know. But then I got to get home and undo that. I just, there's just like a lot of stuff today and I'm already like how am I going to get any work done and then I have to remind myself you don't have to work you don't have to do anything today if I don't end up listing or doing anything today that's fine I got a lot of other stuff going on so if I don't like list on eBay or something today it's okay but it's hard for me to turn my mind off you know with that I just I get overwhelmed very easily just doing mundane things like running errands it shouldn't be that big of a deal but I'm like it's too much it's too much anyway okay Let's see if they have the tuna helper I like. I have to come here because Target doesn't carry it. If they don't have it here, I'd have to go to Hy-Vee. So we'll see if they have it. Because I like to stock up. Now that it's winter, you know, when you like the warm... Well, it's not winter, is it? It's still actually summer. Not even fall. So I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I like to have tuna helper on hand, you know? Because it's nice and comforting. Well, somebody move it. Nope, they don't have it. They only have the two kinds. And that's not what I want. So I'm gonna have to go to Hy-Vee sometime, but not today. We'll just have to make a list for Hy-Vee then. To get my rice and I'm getting some celery as well. So it wasn't a total waste of a trip. I do need the rice because I'm making something tonight for dinner. The puppy's a little special treat to take home. Let's see. They like these, but man, they make a mess. Such a mess. And actually the last time I got one, I think it was Teddy didn't eat it, so I'm not gonna get those. I think they've had these before. I don't know. It's so hard, they're so, they are the pickiest dogs, which is so strange compared to Max and Lucy would eat anything. And these two are like, not good enough. <laughs> I don't know, maybe these. Tender twists with chicken breasts. Lightest chew, where's the heaviest chew? Meat kebabs. Hmm, I don't know. Now I'm confused. There aren't even that many choices and I'm already confused. I can't remember if I showed these or not, but I found these, they were having a sale on these candy bars. So I got this, uh, these to put out in the snack box for the delivery guys. So that ended up being the best deal that I could find. And now I've got my rubber gloves out. I have a couple boxes of these from when my dad was on hospice and I'm gonna use them to pull the chicken um, and chop that up for my casserole that I'm making, my cheesy chicken and rice casserole tonight, which is super easy. Um, I only eat white meat, so I'll do the dark meat and save that for the puppies. So, And they were very angry that I was gone. I came home and someone, and I think it was Charlie, had knocked over the baby gate. Did you knock the baby gate over? Were you so mad? See, I was mad, Mom. You weren't here. And I, I showed you. What about Teddy? Teddy said, I knew you were coming back, Mom. I told him, but he didn't listen. Teddy, you got an eye booger. You got an eye booger. Okay, chicken is chopped up. I'm still working on what I'm gonna be doing here with this pantry. What I'm thinking of, honestly, is just turning this shelf and putting all unopened food on it. Um, and then keeping this for opened food and then actually getting stuff off that bottom shelf and I can put, I can use it for storage, like plastic containers, cause there's never enough room. So most of this is open, I think. 
I say that and it's probably a lie. Nope, it's not. Some of it, but anyway. So I just need more room for like things like this, giant Tupperware bowl that, that would go perfect down there. And then everything that's down there could go in there. What do you think, Teddy? Teddy thinks it's a good plan. Well, I'm home from the auction pickup and once again, I have filled my car. So it's all of this princess house stuff. And I was looking things up as I was bidding, but I only spent with the buy, with the uh, auction premium even like 82 bucks. So I got a great deal. There's more in the back seat. Now I gotta unload it. I need to clear that table off. Some of that stuff's going to the consignment store. That's why it's still there and take that stuff inside and then unload. And I'm just gonna keep it out here on the table. What I really like to start doing is when I bring things home, put it on this table, bring things in at a time, make sure they're clean and then take them to the basement so I can list them. Cause I have things down there that I'm, oh wait, I gotta take this back up and wash it off. Cause there's no um, sink down there. So anyway, lots and lots of good stuff for hardly any money, honestly, $82 crazy. Okay, <laughs> car is unloaded. This isn't even all of it. I had to put some of it over here on the tractor because I just, I ran out of room. But my total was $82 for everything. Now that does include the 15% um, auctioneer uh, fee that you pay. So yeah, it was just crazy. Most of these, and most of them were like three, four, five pieces together in a lot. So great, I'm excited. Uh, but like I said, I will take like I'll start you know with this and I'll take this in and get it ready upstairs make it sure it's clean and everything and then take it downstairs to photograph and list since um I don't have the sink down there what do you think Teddy Teddy do you like princess house lead crystal do you need it for anything you want it for Christmas he's like what is all this mom this is not there's no toys I love bulk buys I love one stop shopping I feel like I'm one of the few resellers who does not like thrifting. I hate going thrift stores and you like you look and I mean, our thrift stores aren't very good other than the one I've shown before, but like Goodwill here is just not good for sourcing, but I'm super thankful I have auction houses and estate sales. So, and there aren't many estate sales anymore. So the auction houses kind of fill in that blank. Um, this, I just, God, I could not sell it at the garage sale. Someone offered me like 750. I'm like, well, how about 10? No, they wouldn't even go 10. These things will go on eBay. Some of that will go to the consignment store, but I'm not really worried about it now. But now I need a break. I need a break. Should we go inside? I need, yeah, to sit down with my doggies and take a break because the anxiety is kicking my butt. Are you ready to sit down and take a break with mommy? See, I've been waiting all morning, lady. Sit down. Okay, I'm going to make my cheesy chicken rice casserole. There are so many versions of this online. I'm using the one from allrecipes.com and it's just called easy cheesy chicken and rice. But I kind of modified a bit from that, but the general idea. So my oven is preheating to 350 and I am going to spray nine by 13 pan. And then it's rice, chicken, two cans, cream of chicken soup diluted in water, onion soup mix, cheese. Um, you can do this with uncooked chicken if you want to lay the chicken breast on top of it. You can. Uh, you can chop up raw chicken and do it. I just like to do it this way. The rotisserie and then chopped it up really well. Um, if you're doing it the traditional way where you put the chicken breast or fuller pieces of chicken, you layer it more, but I mix a lot. So I'm going to put the rice down, but then I'm going to mix the soup and the water together and pour that um, over that because you're just needing that liquid to cook the rice up. So um, you can also put salt and pepper if you want. You can use a different cheese if you want. I mean, honestly, you could use cream and mushroom if you wanted, but I love this and it's super easy. It makes a huge amount, so it lasts four days, which I also love. So I sprayed the pan and I'm just gonna put in two cups of uncooked rice. You do not wanna get the instant minute rice, five minute stuff. You just want a regular long grain rice. And then over that rice, I'm gonna put one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Again, you can use a different blend. Doesn't matter. Shake that out. I'm gonna put seasoning on top of the cheese you can. I just, I never do, cause why? This is all of the white meat rotisserie chicken. Nice and cut up on top of that layer of cheese, chicken soup. 
both cans is in a bowl and I'm then gonna mix in three cups of water. So I'm gonna pour the soup and water mixture over the rice and the chicken and the cheese. Here, shake it up, shake it up. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle a packet of any onion soup dip mix that you want. I have the Lipton stuff. So this will bake at 350 degrees for about an hour. That time I'll take it out, I will put more cheese on the top and put it back in just to get the cheese melty. Um, again, I think the recipe calls for half a cup. I'll put in more than that because I like mine very cheesy. You, you're just, you can't mess this up because really the only thing you're doing is if you're using raw chicken is cooking the chicken. You have to cook the rice, obviously. So once the rice is cooked, um, with if you're using cooked chicken, it's essentially done. So I just like these kind of dishes very, very done. So give it an hour and then I'll top with more cheese. So it's been in the oven for about an hour. I take it out. Now this, I do this again. You don't have to do this, but I now kind of just stir it around a little bit. Get all that topping in there. Again, this is completely optional. I just like to make sure it's nice and stirred up. Okay. And then I need to smooth it out again. And then you top more cheese on. So I do another cup of cheese and you have a cup, whatever you want to do. Again, everything's cooked at this point. My rice is done. That was the only thing that needed to cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in, or add on, another cup of cheese. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven for like five minutes just to get the cheese melted. And then that'll be it. So it is much later at night. I was having quite a difficult time this afternoon. So I took some Benadryl to help calm myself down my regular anxiety and depression medicine works well but sometimes i'm just having a hard time and so i ended up taking a very whoops i just tripped don't i'm fine didn't fall uh, i took a very long nap so it is later and i have an ebay sale and three etsy orders and i'm down here in my magical office and teddy is upstairs barking <gasps> anyway i listed this starbucks uh it's for a model train set i bought it on Menards, you know, because I love miniatures and everything. I think it was 120 bucks when I bought it. Um, Papa really liked it too, but no use for it. So I put it up on eBay for $200 last night and it sold. Funny, um, right before it sold, somebody had sent an offer like for 180 but then somebody bought it straight away. Um, so these are discontinued now. Um, so yeah. And the buyer's pain should be in on that. So that's a fantastic sale. In my head, I want to see how fast I can get to $4,000. So there's $200. So $4,000 is the amount of money I've spent in the last month on home stuff. Toilets, ductwork, carpet cleaning, and then the new washing machine. So I feel like making a chart. $4,000 or $200. <laughs> um, so I'm going to get this package up and then I'm going to pull uh, the Etsy orders. And I got this at Menards, by the way. So this is something like if you're a retail arbitrage person, you know, different buildings come out at different times if you're willing to make the investment and sit. Now, that wasn't my intention with this. Um, just wanted it for a collection back when I was collecting. But like I said before, my reseller brain is back on now and I have no interest in collecting. Now it's sell, sell, sell. So great, um, great sale. Okay, so I have three Etsy orders. Uh, first from Christine in Ohio. Why is there a share and save button next to that order? Is that for me, for her? I don't know what's going on. That's Etsy for you. She's getting all magnets and I think she likes cats. She's getting the Day of the Dead cat, the Atomic Starburst cat, one of the Art Deco cats, and one of the I Can Do Hard Things magnets. Then we have Cheryl in California, who is a repeat customer, is getting one of the Nebraska magnets. And then, uh, uh, let's see, Alini. Alini in California is getting one of the jumbo five inch rainbow magnets. 
Well, unfortunately, my attempt to get anything listed tonight is failing because the internet keeps going in and out, and I do have a hot spot, but then that's going in and out. So I think that is my sign to uh, call a day and go to bed, but I'm gonna list this. I got the pictures at least. I guess I could take some more pictures, and then when the internet comes up, I can at least draft them. Maybe I'll do that.